Hello guys, let's today have a discussion about monetization in free games. And there has been a kinda a big discussion and controversy about the latest Odyssey event in Smite. Now basically all the prices went up for some reason and this has been happening for years and years and years. Um, back in the days skin, skins used to cost 400 gems, so that was like a $5 or something like that. But now it's way more and they call these events but they're not actual events just uh, for them to make money and that was always an issue in smite right and because but now it's way harder to support it right because they kind of turn this into mon money laundering machine it's not like you know and there are no skins you can actually earn by playing the game no every skin you want to get you have to buy it uh, with uh, you know they're usually over expensive or in a chest that has one of 30 chance to even get the item you want and that has been a huge issue and especially now you know back in the days people were okay i mean it's a good game right but now after so many years they took so much uh, content away from the game uh, the pro scene is not there anymore uh, they removed clash they removed siege they removed ranked arena they removed all the fun adventures uh, smite card domination and so on and so on and they still didn't add them into the match of the day rotation and then for t uh, anniversary event 10 years of smite we get events like this it feels like a slap in the face right and how can we actually fix that make make this more uh, less expensive uh create skins that people can earn by playing the game uh you know 10 ranked games um you know you could do so much more you could do so much more you have commendation rewards you have achievement points rewards you have clan wars you have ui so many things you still need to fix adding more fun game modes back into the match of the day rotation you could make ranked leaderboard and rewards you know that's all you have to do ranked leaderboard for arena and add, add like a few cool skins to earn by playing ranked and same for conquest right and people are very unhappy and it's about time because why would we support them and pay so much especially now that people are not doing so well with their money uh, but they're getting more and more greedy and it's about time we discuss this, right? Why are you guys still having fun when the game is not doing well? But the core issue here, the core issue here is that because Hyrule has never fixed the core, the core issues this game has, they are forced to do this to survive, or or they just want to make more money. I actually heard the stat that Hyrule is one of the more, the the biggest companies, gaming companies in the world, actually. But maybe that was true five years ago, but now not anymore because Smite is not doing well because we don't have tournaments, uh, uh, we don't have EU versus North America competitive spirit anymore. Uh, the community are mismanaged. Uh, we don't have fun game modes uh, in the match of the day rotation. We don't have ranked leaderboards for arena fans. We don't have you know all these fun game modes that could, they could easily add in match of the day rotation in the rotation. So you're not dividing the community, and this has been a huge issue, right? They always talk about dividing the community, but we all already have a divided community on every corner right um and you have been dividing the community when, just when it comes to ranked arena versus conquest you, you this is what hires did arena was never less competitive game mode it's just that hires forces players into conquest if you want to be ranked uh, rank, even consider consider it ranked so every new player that comes to smite thinks that us oh, arena is not competitive because we don't have basic ranked leaderboard right but even without ranked leaderboard, Arena is still one of the most popular game modes and will easily be the most popular game modes. You guys really need to stop sleeping and do some changes, man. Like, for real. And yes, why call it an event? When all we do is pay for them, these are not events. Event is when you get cool quests, you get good, good initiative to play the game, and then you could also implement, uh, you know, skins you can sell for bonus, you know, pay more to get more cool cosmetics, okay, nobody, you know, minds that, but when you just, just want 8,000 8, gems for us, for, it's like, Brock, what are you doing? And they are charging insane amount of gems for tier 5 skin. Skin back in the days, like Pirate Sobek skin cost 400 gems and they have even even till day today they have one of the best voiceless and one of the best talents and animations right so in reality all you guys had to fix it is 
just make more skins that people can earn by playing the game. You could simply make, you know, event where you have to play three games and get a cool skin or five, ten games, ten ranked games. You could easily implement that, right? You guys, you guys in Harris has been kinda lucky because there was so much low and you had such a great in your great game on your hand. You didn't even have to do anything with it. But no, you just removed a bunch of content from the game and now you expect p p players to pay, pay even more. Like, you have to respect your player base. I know you have to survive uh, and you don't know what to do with the pro scene. And at the end of the day, all you have to do is organize tournaments again, uh, North American EU tournaments for Conquest and Arena, two most popular game modes, and then get best few best players teams to play it out in Atlanta for the final reward. This is how you naturally get sponsorship and viewership. Uh, you have you have to light that, that that competitive fire once more. Just organize tournaments again. This is what people want to see. This is why people blow esports. They just want to see best of the best clash and uh, you know wo watch how meta evolves and such, right? There was always this fun North America versus EU rivalry that I have I have a feeling that it died, and this is one of the biggest reasons why Prostin is not doing well anymore. You know. And if you do things right, if you just organize tournaments, add more fun game modes back into the match of the day rotation, uh, give arena players a ranked leaderboard, then you will get, uh, you, you, Smite will be popular once more, but you really need to do some of of these changes, otherwise you have to fix UI too, so it actually has more character and so on and so on. <sighs> Let's fix Smite, how to fix Smite, brothers. <laughs> That's a question, huh? <laughs> like that. <laughs> 